The priorities within NPR um, are really tied around storytelling and context. And there are certain desks that the public has come to expect that we're you know, excelling at. One of them is science. And we have arguably the best science and health coverage of any journalistic endeavor in the country, a tremendous group that does uh, those amazing stories that on, on Morning Edition, all things considered every day. Um, foreign desk, we have 18 foreign bureaus uh, when other news organizations have totally cut back. We just added an 18th in Sao Paulo, Brazil. We're all over the Middle East. Um, Kelly McEvers and Deb Amos just won a Peabody Award for their work um, going into Syria and you know, sitting with the Free Syrian Army um, in a war that has killed some 100,000 people and in a very volatile situation that could explode at any moment. It's very important for Americans to understand that and I feel passionately that we need Americans who are covering these stories and interviewing the, you know, the head of the U.S. military forces or the ambassador in Afghanistan where we still have 60,000 troops, for instance. We need to know what's happening over there. It's very important for our men and women in the armed services. So foreign affairs is another one. So science, foreign affairs, arts and life, uh, you know, more people are tuning into NPR books. We've got over two million unique visitors just on the NPR books website. Um, and NPR music is really taking off as well, especially with younger people. The average age of our NPR music app is 28 years old. So. We're trying to push out, of course, journalism around those different, what we call verticals that we're expert at, of course, covering Washington, whether it's the Supreme Court, Capitol Hill, or the White House. We've got a great team covering politics. Those are the main things that we can do in bringing headlines for the stations around the country. 